Hello, hello. So Brazilian authorities foiled a Hezbollah attack. It was a terrorist plot. They were trying to recruit Brazilians, and it's a terrorist network that the federal police had done an investigation, and they had a network that was trying to basically build itself up in Brazil, and they were trying to attack Jewish synagogues, the intended targets were synagogues, but the issue is that it's not just Jews. They're after the Western states as well. As I've showed you before, if you haven't looked at my video, if you're new to my channel, but in my um, Attacks on Israel playlist, there's it shows Hamas Doctrine, which is public record. Anybody can Google it. Their jihad is to go not just after Jews and to take over all of Israel, make it their state, but it is also against any resistance, jihad resistance against Western states, countries, the state states, but that, you know, is a, in the member of the United Nation is a state, but countries, Western countries. So there have been, you know, threats against America. And another thing they haven't talked about, the injured soldiers from the various attacks recently, just tonight, um, the U.S. has struck against a facility in Syria because of the continued attacks on the U.S. bases. And so this, though, this is all the way in Brazil. They're trying to do this around the world. And all the people that have snuck into our country, people need to be on alert because even the FBI has said to be on alert. Um, anyways, so two suspects were taken into custody in Sao Paulo, but not they're not being identified they were, one of them was arrested at the airport. He just landed from Lebanon. And they say that this is Iran-backed, Lebanon-based and Iran-backed Hezbollah terrorist group were the ones trying to commit domestic attacks and recruit Brazilian citizens to do so. So they foiled the plot. Thank you, Lord. People stay prayed up because they're in America too. They're not, they're, I mean, literally... They're jihading around the world. January 25th, 2006, Palestinians voted Hamas into power. Hamas is Palestinians, people. They voted them into power. And whatever government of any country, whatever media, is trying to act like that they're not a part of Hamas, that's a lie. Maybe there are some people who didn't vote for Hamas, but they voted Hamas into power. They didn't just go in there and take over against their will. That's not what happened. These are their people. And anyways, so we better stay prayed up. I remember years ago that there was a foiled um, terrorist plot in an, somebody who worked in a nuclear plant, people. So we need the hedge of protection over our nation. And if people are going to like continue to be apathetic about them rising up and attacking Israel, like the congressman who's in our was basically chanting terrorist jihad you know from the river to the sea that's their motto to take over and kill and all she got was censured she got censured by you know fellow democrats and republicans but she should have been removed really and people need to demand that we got terrorism in our own congress now literally speaking jihad while we got people sneaking into the country that according to what homeland security reported that were on like terrorist watch lists and stuff. And so people better stay prayed up. That's all I got to say.